We are about 40 k's north of Barcelona in Spain to have a look at eight new Harley Davidson models. And I am particularly interested in this one, the Harley Davidson Fat Bob. Harley Davidson is very serious about bringing new riders to their brand. Their plan is to bring 2 million new riders to Harley Davidson's. And that doesn't mean riders that just upgrade or buy a new one, it means new riders. They also set themselves the mammoth task of bringing 100 new high impact models to the market. And this is the start of the big twin revolution. Over the next two days, we will get to ride the Street Bob, the Breakout, the Fat Bob, and the Heritage Classic. Our two bikes for the day, we're going to be riding the Street Bob, and we're also riding the Breakout. I rode the Street Bob here for lunch. We're now in a town with an unpronounceable name, and we're having lunch. I had this on my way here, and we rode some immensely good roads in. There are some seriously twisty roads up here in the mountains and I thought that a Harley Davidson couldn't corner. Well, I was wrong. Now they said that they increased the lean angles on this bike and it was a good thing. Two of my colleagues kept scraping the foot pegs and for the first time in my life I got to scrape a Harley Davidson's foot pegs. With the previous model that was very easy. With this one it takes a little bit more effort and a little bit more corner speed. This bike is a lot of fun to ride and I must say that the guys at Harley Davidson can be particularly proud. Now for the way back, I'm going to be on this. This is the Breakout. Now the Breakout has got a 21 inch front wheel and they tell me that I must be careful of this in corners. And the guys at Harley seem to think that their cornering is all sorted. So we're going to be riding another loop on the way back to the hotel. And you'll see when I get back what the Breakout does. But this was a lot of fun. After lunch, I switched to the Breakout, and this bike fits me a lot better. It fits my height, it fits my style of riding much better. Today was day two of our trip Today I had a turn on the Heritage Classic and also this guy behind me. This is Fat Bob. This is probably the bike that I look forward to the most when I came on this trip and fortunately for me this was the last bike I rode. Yesterday I had the opportunity with the Breakout and the Street Bob and the motorcycles are fairly similar in terms of this bike with its raised handlebars has got a similar feel to the Street Bob although the Street Bob is a bit cramped. Whereas this one is extremely relaxing to ride. This to me is a long distance tourer. You can go very far with these bikes. The bike comes with the panniers that you see there. They are hard cases. It's plastic hard cases that are leather wrapped. And I enjoyed this bike a lot. This on the other hand was just out and out good fun. This is the Fat Bob. This is the 114 edition. It is the most badassery bike you can find and in the looks department there's nothing that touches it. However, if I have to make a verdict on the four bikes that I rode over these two days, we rode the Street Bob, that was too cramped. We rode the Heritage Classic, this is a relaxing touring motorcycle. And then I rode the Fat Bob, which was a lot of fun. It looks the business, it looks the part. But my pick over these two days must be the breakout. So that's a wrap from Spain. It's been two days of tremendous riding. The passes here are just phenomenal to ride in. There's scenery, there is glorious roads, the road surfaces are pretty well kept. There was one stretch where they were busy resurfacing the road, so they do look after their roads. One thing though that I have to concede now is that Harley Davidson are definitely on the right track. These new frames and new suspension make these bikes very flickable and that's not a term that you normally associate with a Harley Davidson. So all in all we had good fun and now it's time to head back to South Africa and see if we can get you right the other four models in the range.